and welcome back to my channel. Now you might be going, why is he sitting there for 10-15 seconds? Because I have an audio program that I've been using and you need about 10 to 15 seconds of whatever noise you want to eliminate. It's just a new thing I'm testing out. But um, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rusty and this is my channel where I talk about my favorite movies, mostly horror, and my favorite music, mostly metal. And yeah, I'm going to continue these couple of screen life uh, horror movies with Unfriended. Now, Unfriended was released in 2014. It was directed by Levin Gabriads. Nelson Greaves stars Heather Sossaman, Matthew Bower, and Courtney Halverson. Yes, it was. It was, I swear. Because that's what International Movie Database says. And we all know that if it says it, it's got to be true. Not in the reviews, but... So, like I said, Unfriended 2014. It's another one of those screen live movies. This one, though, takes place, yeah, 100% on screen. Um, and the movie opens with a suicide video. And it is of someone. You, you hear a bunch of people, like, yelling, you know, at this person. Uh, not to do that. Laura, you know, they're yelling at Laura. Interesting, since friend request, the lead was Laura. But this Laura, she basically blows her brains out on school property. And um, you see that someone is watching that video. And then there's this, you know, saying that this person, you know, sob killed themselves for cyberbullying. And underneath it was a link to this is the video that caused it. And they started watching it. And you see about half of it. But then the person that's watching it is interrupted. And we are introduced to um, Blair and Mitch. They are boyfriend and girlfriend. They're doing a little naughty chat, you know. And then their friends join their chat. Um, which is Jess and Adam and Kennington, or Ken. So they join the chat, and almost immediately when they join this chat, there is a fifth person. There's another person with no profile picture. And this person, you know, they're like, who is that? What, you know, why won't they say anything? who let them into this call, because it's like a Skype call kind of thing. And um, they won't never say anything, and they can't get rid of them. They can't kick them. They can't boot them. They don't know what's going on. So they decide to hang up, and then they start it again. The person's still there. And they do it a third time, and the person's still there. Now, of course, you're, you're seeing all the interpersonal stuff that's going on. Um, they can't get, you know, they can't get rid of this thing. Then all of a sudden, Blair starts receiving, in another tab, she starts receiving private messages from someone claiming to be Laura. And, you know, she's like, she's dead, this isn't funny, stop it, you know. And um, it turns out that that very night, it's the anniversary. Um, you know, it's the anniversary of the suicide of this person. So they can't seem to get the messages to stop. They, they think somebody may have hacked Laura's account. So they go through the memorialization process, trying to memorialize the thing so that no one can get into it. Because, you know, once you do that, turn a profile into a memorial profile 
no one can go in there and do anything to it. Such as hack it. Something's, what is my light doing? But, um, and I'm talking about Laura. Oh no. Some shift goes down. You know who to call. But, um, so they can't get that done as well. The process won't work. Um, they try to unfriend them, and just like in the movie we just talked about, they can't unfriend them. They can't unfriend that Laura's account. They can't get nothing to work, just like the other movie can't get anyone anything to work. So, um, after a lot of effort, Laura does man. I mean, um, Blair does manage to unfriend the at least that chat part of Laura's accounts but another account pops right back up the one that she was getting the messages from she was able to unfriend but the one that is actually talking to her is uh, Billy123 or Billy234 or something like that and she, that sounds familiar to her, only for them to her to realize that this was one of Laura's chat accounts. Had a different name than her Facebook account. But the chat account, she knew it as being from Laura. So they really think they're being trolled. Um, now Ken, he's kind of a little computer expert so he sends them all a trojan detector a little program um and they run that that's how she manages to get unsubscribed from laura's facebook but she couldn't get unsubscribed from the phone thing so you know the billy person now comes on to the chat and actually starts speaking on the chat and tells her, you know, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have unfriended that. And it doesn't matter anyway. So, all of a sudden, a bunch of, they, they contact this other person that they know called Val, because they think that that's the person that's doing this, because they don't like her and she's a bitch. So they do manage to get her to join. And she's like, I don't know what y'all are talking about. And then all of a sudden, really embarrassing pictures of her show up on Jess's account with everybody tagged. And they start having a big fight. Like, well, what did you just do that for? I didn't do anything to you. And bam, bam, there's all these like fights going on between them. Um. She's like, okay, I'll go delete them, but I didn't post them, you know. But then she can't delete them. She can't get those pictures of Val deleted. So they're having, you know, this big, giant fight between them. And everyone is starting to get mad at everyone in this group. You know, um, Then a message pops up in which it's a screenshot message from Val to Laura just before the suicide in which, you know, Laura accuses her of having posted that embarrassing video and Val is just like basically going, she didn't say yes or no. She just said, um, you know what you can do? You can kill yourself. That's the best thing that you could do. So this gets posted, making everyone really angry at Val for having told her that prior to the suicide. And um, that's when this account in the chat ends up telling them, look, because, you know, everybody's pissed off now. Everybody is yelling at each other. They're fighting, suspicious. Um, it's sort of like anybody with secrets, and you know people have your secrets, 
and then you start people start leaking secrets everybody starts getting pissed off so everybody's threatening to like fuck all this i'm leaving this conversation that's when laura and then the billy and laura the two accounts that are attached comes up and says look if any of you hang up you'll regret it so you know and it even tells Laura, like, you better stop them from hanging up. Because if anybody hangs up, we're not through till I say we're through. So if any of them hang up and you hang up, all your friends will die. So that's when we get to see on cam this weird suicide scene where Val ends up killing herself. Just like in friend request, these people are killing themselves. Um, so there's a lot of tension during that scene. And um, they find out when it becomes Ken's turn, they notice that there's a cam hidden in Ken's room. And it's actually on that profile picture of the Billy thing. So he gets blamed for a moment. But then when he realizes it's in there, then we have this weird kill scene with Ken. And that was pretty interesting. I think when he puts his hand in a blender and um, it's pretty gross. Yeah. So, um Let's see who after that. We finally do get to see the whole embarrassing video because Laura, uh, yeah, Laura posts it for them all to see. And basically what this embarrassing video was, was she got really drunk. And I don't, I'm not really sure because, I mean, they didn't say what all that stuff was. But either she was on her cycle, or she shit herself. But I think, she, in any event, they called her when that video was released that she killed herself over. She was called Leaky Laura, and it shows how she was passed out behind this trailer. They walk up to her and zoom in between, she's laying on her stomach and her legs are apart. So they zoom in on her shorts, and there's, I guess, shit. It's like all down her legs, like she shit herself. And, um, unless it was the other thing. But I think it was poop. I, I don't, I don't know. And they don't really say. So that's the embarrassing video, which, yeah, I mean, I can imagine. But who would kill themselves over something like that? People are strange. I mean, people give way too many fucks about stuff i mean i know we all had different personalities and all but if i got drunk and did that and somebody posted it on youtube well first of all youtube would delete it but posted it somewhere where it couldn't be um even for a few moments um yeah i mean you might be embarrassed somebody can post an embarrassing but go in somewhere and shooting yourself over it i mean I don't, I don't get that. I don't get how that kind of stuff is like really possible. And it's, I think, because people are trained by social media to give more fucks about things than they really should. I wasn't raised in that kind of family, man. I was raised in a kind of family that it's like, if I do give any fucks, it's hard for me to give any fucks about anything. So... <laughs> you know, you want to you catch me drunk and puking or crapped myself or something like that, I'm going to be embarrassed. And there's a good possibility I might slap the shit out of you or beat your ass the next time I see you. But you're not going to shame me into, I'm just going to go, yeah, yeah, I definitely won't be drinking Southern Comfort anymore. <laughs> so, I mean, I just don't understand the reaction that people can have. Uh, to where they would really do something like that. But I do know it happens, and it's very sad. But, um, so, 
during all of this stuff, this this account, this individual starts making them play, you know, this game, you know, starts making them play the have you never ever game. It's sort of like um, a drinking game, but um, and starts asking all of these questions and all of these really dark, ugly secrets. Um, Blair had set with Adam one time. Adam is like going nuts. Her boyfriend Mitch is is freaking out. Um, so all of you know a lot of really terrible stuff is being revealed about each of them. All of their dirty little secrets. Um, and of course, uh, Jess has an ugly death scene. What does she do? I think she shoves a curling iron down her throat, her own throat. Um, Adam shoots himself too on on cam, and we're we're left now with just Mitch and Blair. And after all this went on, you know, between them, Laura is constantly, though, continuing to push, like, to get the truth out is what this creature, this demon, was doing. And it comes down to a point where she's like, I know who uploaded the video. And she gets Laura, knowing that he's going to die, if she says it, to admit that Mitch is the one who uploaded her boyfriend. And he, like, stabs himself through the brain, through the eye, on camera. And she's dead. And then Laura is, like, freaking out. All of her friends are dead now. And she's like, okay, you know, what? why aren't you leaving me alone now? I mean, of course, she's not being that calm about it. But it's like, why aren't you leaving me alone now? You know everything, the secrets. And Laura's like, no, 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 no. There's, 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 one, there's one more thing that, a bit of business that we got to take care of. Isn't there, Blair? Isn't there one little thing you're leaving out? And that was that the original video, you know, Mitch was her boyfriend. So, yeah, Mitch uploaded it. And they had all commented on it because everyone else was making fun of it. But Blair is the one who actually filmed it. So Blair is the one that followed her out there to the, to the trailer, saw her laying back there and shit on herself, filmed it, and then her boyfriend got a hold of it and uploaded it. So once Blair admits it, well, she doesn't really have to admit it because Val, I mean, uh, Laura shows her the video, the end of the video that wasn't uploaded. And the end of the video is those few minutes where she turns the camera back to herself and says, giggles about, ha, 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 I got you. You know, I got her. Ha, ha, I got her. So, granted, it probably wasn't meant. I mean, I don't think Blair meant to do that. As, you know, it was probably going to be, well, you know, do you and your friends have inside jokes, inside things that, you know, that y'all have done? And that's it. I think that she filmed it and it was going to be an inside joke between them, but her boyfriend got a hold of it. And although he didn't include the, the, those last seconds that showed her turn the camera around and say, ha ha, I got her, um, he's the one who uploaded it after probably getting it from her off her phone or something. So in any event, that last scene where Laura, or this this spirit of Laura, 
lets Blair know that she knows who did that, who filmed it, that's when we get this really big jump scare where Laura gets her. And then the movie ends, and that's it. Now, this is another 7.5 out of 10, yeah, to me. I really, really, really do like this movie. Um, I think that Friends Request, I think that Friend Request, though, Friend Request, it's, I guess it's according to which one you want. This is very frenetic, you know, frenzied, panicky, stressy. Whereas Friends Request is a little bit more story driven, slower and more story driven. But Friend Request has a lot better kills, um, traditional kills. These were choppy CCTV kills kind of thing. And um, those few flashes that you get to see are gross. And it is really great. Like I said, I gave them both the same score. But they are different. Um, but if you're talking about kills, good kills, good slasher type kills, Friends Request is like miles above this as for you know actual good kills um but this is still a fantastic movie i still say friends requests which was what made two years after this a lot of similarities there's a suicide video there's a friend that is feels betrayed um who wreaks havoc on a group. But then again, that's every slasher you've ever heard about, too. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, so there are a lot of similarities. But, like I said, it's according to which one. I say buy them both. <laughs> that's what I say. But um, a friend request has a lot better kills. The kills are a lot better. Um, and so it's a story. It's a horror story. Story-driven. Whereas this is... A really complete screen life horror movie and um, even though the shots of the kills that we see in this are great um, him putting his hand in the blender was pretty intense but yeah you're you're gonna get a lot better kills and a lot more jump scares I think when it comes to jump scares this only had one and that was at the end Whereas Friend Request has got traditional horror movie jump scares, good ones, and a better story. Well, this doesn't really have that much of a story. It's more of an interpersonal horror drama going on there between all everybody. Whereas Friend Request has an actual storyline. Um, so yeah. So that's Unfriended from 2014. It was one of the earliest of the Scream Life, Scream Life uh, horror films. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with its sequel here shortly. And yes, thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think about Unfriended. And I will see you in the next video. Love you, miss you, bye-bye. Always remember and never forget, you're a really, really special person. And don't be fucking with people, okay? It's always going to come back to haunt you. All right? You understand? Think about what you're doing before you do it. Because one day, you might get a message from a pissed off demon that's coming after your ass. So, I would be careful about that if I was you. But, yeah. See you in the next one. Thank you for dropping by. Let me know what you think about this in the comments if you would like to. And I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta. Stockings.